Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last tutorial we finished off by creating this card deck array which holds all the information we need to make a standard uh, 52 deck of cards. But I realized before starting this tutorial that I was doing something a little bit redundant in the code, which is never a good idea. So I wanted to clear that up with you guys first before we continue on. So if we minimize this and we go into our card struct, I'm going to change suit from a string to a texture 2D. And we will save that. And we can close this out. And we're not going to need this card suit array. So we can delete this here. Delete that. And we can delete this variable. It's going to break some stuff, but it's OK. We'll fix it. And we're going to actually create a new variable. We can call it whatever. We don't even have to name it because I'm going to delete it in a minute. And we're going to look for texture 2D. Actually, we'll make this single. And I'll drag this out and say get. And we can say make array. And we'll promote this to a variable, a local variable. And this will be our suit array. And we can delete this variable and delete it over here. And then add our pins back. And I'm just going to look for some assets that I found online. These are the each one of the suits. You guys can put in whatever uh, assets or textures you have. And club. So now this is going to save us some time a little bit later on down the road. So now instead of having this get here, we can now just use our suit array, say get, and then plug this into here. And now we can just directly set this pin. So if you see here, we'll have to click this suit pin again. And now we can just give it the texture that we want. So now compile and save. We'll go to our event graph. And off of begin play, what we're going to want to do is get our card deck array. And we want to spawn one card actor um, for each index that we have in this array. So we'll use a for each loop. We can come through here. And if we right click here and split this, we'll see that we have all the information we need to spawn our card actors. So we'll say spawn actor from class. We're going to look for card, basic card here. And you see the suit and card value pop up. And we can just hook these up like this. And for the transform, this is purely cosmetic. I'm going to right click here. And I will take our off of the begin play. We'll say, get our default scene root, get world location. And we're actually going to take this and make this guy a variable here. So we'll right click and say promote to variable and spawn location. And we'll drag out our spawn location, hold alt. And we want to set that to the default scene root. And like I said, guys, don't really worry too much about that. It's purely cosmetic, just so you can see what we have here in our card deck array. So I'm going to add a vector plus a vector. Not divide. Add vector. And we'll add negative 150 on the Y into the spawn. And then we're going to drag out spawn location again, hold Alt. And we're going to say get default scene root. And we'll plug that into here, like that. 
and this should work. So we will compile and save. And delete. We can drag our deck creator out and hit play. Oh, forgot one thing. We do need to call our function to generate the deck. So right after here we can say call generate deck. Compile and save. And now as you can see we've created a full deck of 52 cards over here. They just kind of go off into space but they're all there. Alright guys, I hope you liked that, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you later.